in his first detailed media interaction on February 4, over a month after taking over. Indian Chief of Defence Staff General Rawat outlined his tasks over his three-year tenure. General Rawat's one of the key responsibilities is to assign inter-services prioritization to capital acquisition proposals based on the anticipated budget. In other words, prune armed forces requirements according to the budget. This means every major single service buy will be closely scrutinized. High-profile projects like the Navy's requirement for a third aircraft carrier, are likely to go under the axe. The IAF's plan to locally build 110 fighter aircraft might also run into approval issues. Feathers, quite clearly, are going to be ruffled in the air and naval headquarters. For General Rawat, the Navy's Indigenous Aircraft Carrier 2 or IAC-2 project which is known as INS Vishal, a 65,000 ton, conventionally powered aircraft carrier, with approximately 55 fixed and rotary wing aircraft, doesn't make sense. He feels it will divert scarce budgetary resources away from the two other services. You have to look at priorities, he says. It's a major investment. What is it that the Navy themselves will not be able to get and what will be the effect on the Army? You cannot just have one service moving ahead. It's not just an aircraft carrier, it is 2,500 crewmen, their salaries, the air element and their destroyer escorts and logistics, he added. General Rawat perhaps knows how single service raisings can wreck budgets. The Army raised only two divisions out of a planned three-division Mountain Strike Corps with 90,000 soldiers, approved in 2013. The 60,000 crore rupees bill for the formation with 90,000 soldiers gutted the Army's revenue budget. The Navy currently operates the INS Vikramaditya, a refurbished Soviet-era aircraft carrier acquired from Russia in 2013, with a second carrier, the indigenously built Vikrant, set to join sometime next year. The Navy says it needs a third aircraft carrier to ensure two are always available for service when one carrier is being refitted. As General Rawat hinted, the Navy already knows what it will not get if it pushes for a third carrier, a fleet of six nuclear-powered attack submarines or SSN. The Navy's case for building six indigenously built SSN, at a total project cost of 96,000 crore rupees, is pending for approval by the Cabinet Committee on Security. This is also roughly what the IAC-2 with its air wing will cost. And herein lays the Navy's dilemma. Top Navy officials admit they will not be able to fund both the SSN and the IAC-2 without a budget hike. This isn't happening because the Navy's share of the defense budget is actually falling, from 18% in 2014 to just 15% this year. In this situation it seems that Indian Navy's second indigenous aircraft carrier project has gone out of think for a while. Thank you everyone for watching this video.